going on there guys good morning good afternoon it is the earth master here on this uh, monday start of the work week it is uh, january 3rd 2022 about 11 48 a.m california time here along the west coast the latest quake a 2.5 earthquake up in the alaska region seen some uh, rather large uptick in earthquake activity around the taiwan area early this morning overnight uh, 6.2 earthquake striking the area uh, around the Taiwan area. Let's go ahead and check out some movement that's happened overnight here in the uh, area of Taiwan. You can see 6.2 shaking things up pretty good at 28.7 kilometers be, uh, below the surface. Uh, everything in the green as far as the pager goes. Uh, looking at uh, not a whole lot of substantial damage out there, uh, fortunately. Uh, but this area is no doubt in a seismically uh, active hazard area, and especially when it comes to uh, some rather large quakes in that region. Just adding another earthquake on top of that mess out there on the map, and I'm sure that will continue uh, for years to come. Uh, around the uh, Mariana Trench, we've seen some movement as well with the 5.0 uh, near the Guam area. This was from last night, 142 kilometers for some deep movement there in the trench region. Uh, meanwhile, the area north, Japan northward, into the Aleutian Islands uh, remains pretty quiet for the most part. A little earthquake activity along the Aleutian Trench overnight, 4.4 uh, and a 3.5 earthquake. Uh, looking at the all magnitudes map doesn't show too much more of a dif difference in the Alaska area. Just a couple small microquakes up and about the Anchorage and Fairbanks area. Uh, looking at this area down south into the Indonesia region. Seen some uh, somewhat deeper earthquake activity within that region as well. 5.0 and a 4.8, 97.5 kilometers for uh, at least one of those earthquakes there. And the uh, Vanuatu area, of course, seen that last night come in during the uh, update video. Uh, 104 kilometers below the surface for that 6.0. Uh, it almost seemed like immediately after that 6.0 struck, we've seen movement kick up here along the west coast. Uh, prior to that, it was awfully quiet and uh, kind of had a little sporadic earthquake movement around the Bakersfield area a couple unknown uh, fault systems here within this region I was checking this out around the Elk Hills uh, does not give me any uh, description on what the uh, specific faults are here or you know if they're thrust or if they're um, uh, lateral type transform faults I, I don't know uh, either way we definitely know there's some fault systems out there and earthquakes do occur on them uh, just such as the ones last night uh, 3.9 shaking things up around the Button Willow area uh, east of, uh, uh, west of uh, Bakersfield here, around the Elk Hills. And then they uh, had a 3.0, it looks like a 1.2. No renewed movement following that, uh, but we also did see some activity kick up in the Palomar Observatory area down there around the Palomar Mountain on the uh, Elsinore Fault System. Elsinore Fault System, there we go. And um, on that little segment there to the east Activity kicking up on the San Jacinto Fault Zone as well. Uh, looks like around this region here, quite a few small microquakes around Baldy Mountain, Mountain Center, California, getting in on some microquakes, uh, really kicking up on the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, San Andreas looks pretty quiet, although down south here in the Imperial Fault, we noticed a little bit of microquake uptick uh, near Holtville and uh, just north of Mexicali area couple small microquakes on the Imperial Fault System, which is well south of the San Andreas Fault. Uh, looking up here to the north, some further movement uh, up around the uh, Ridgecrest area, but even then that's kind of spotty. Look at this, just a couple small quakes around the region and up here in the Long Valley Super Volcano, some activity kicking up uh, just outside of Mammoth Lakes to the south. And a little swarm starting to kick back up here around the Walker, California area, the Antelope Valley section, 2.6, and a couple 1.6s following that earthquake uh, movement throughout the Nevada area as well. And uh, just kind of watching things up here in the northern coast, kind of moving a little bit. Seen one little microquake around the northern California area. Um, hold on one second. A uh, little one here on the southern end of the, kind of close to the uh, Cascadia subduction zone, a 15 kilometer deep 2.3 off the coast of Northern California. It's about the only one we've seen, or at least the only one that's been listed here 
on the USGS map. Uh, things just kind of spotty. Although on the live seismograph stations, we've been watching movement uh, kicking up, even though it's pretty small on the live seismographs, it's still movement uh, that has not been reported here on this uh, on the USGS page, but that's okay. Uh, nothing significant going on though at the moment there along the uh, western coast. Uh, in Idaho, things kind of calming down as well. Not a whole lot of movement throughout the Intermountain West regions. Uh, Oklahoma and Texas, some activity around the Guadalupe Peak, Pecos, Texas area. Uh, looking at uh, quite a few threes kicking up here uh, overnight and earlier this morning. 3.6 appears to be the largest in that cluster of quakes there in the Texas area. Uh, some movement up around the Oklahoma area as well and Kansas and the Ozark Plateau area. I wonder what's going on up there. Of course, got the new Madra zone over here. This little earthquake, a 2.2 uh, near Diamond City, Arkansas at 3.2 kilometers below surface. And some uh, renewed activity over here in South Carolina with a 2.5 at 2 kilometers. Uh, looking up, or looking down south here, I should say into the Mexico region. A little bit of activity kicking up here uh, around the uh, area. 4.4 at 77.1 kilometers. Middle America Trench looks pretty quiet down south here around Costa Rica. Area southward quiet as well. Some deeper movement kicking off. Uh, looks like uh, one at least earlier this morning a 4.4 and 4.2 was uh, well, it looks like it's into the Peru Chile Trench there, 263 kilometers for that 4.2. Pretty deep activity, but overall, not a whole lot going on there in the South America region. Uh, North Atlantic did see a little activity out here in the northern mid Atlantic Ridge, 4.7 earthquake out there in the ocean. And some activity <coughs> over here around the, well, of course, we talked about the Taiwan area. Seen some uh, movement uh, late last night in the area of China as well. Overall, things very, uh, very calm throughout this region of the world right now. Uh, let's see what else we got here in Yellowstone area. Not a whole lot bumping up there. Looks like uh, maybe some activity uh, distance-wise last night. Looks like some distant earthquake activity. I'm not for sure exactly where that's at. Maybe uh, Idaho. Or these could just be very deep earthquakes here in the Wyoming area. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick on the... USGS map kind of curious about that activity looks like they did have a 2.5 and a 2.6 in the Idaho Idaho area away from the sawtooth fault system um, kind of an odd area look at the timestamps here 0320 and 0344 so I kind of like to match this up see if they are within that time frame 03 right 0330 and 03 uh, 20. can't remember the, the, the exact numbers, but those are the Idaho quakes that are showing up on the Yellowstone uh, thumbnails there across a couple of them. Uh, the rest of Yellowstone looks pretty quiet, folks. I believe we got some ice quaking going on still here in this area of Yellowstone and uh, potentially over here as well in the Little West Thumb area. Trimmer map, of course, last night was pretty darn quiet. There wasn't a whole lot coming in. And uh, we'll see if that changes. It just went from a pretty uh, good uptick in trimmer to completely nothing, a complete halt. Uh, and that could have something to do with the release of pressure, at least generally, uh, regionally, I should say, along the North American Pacific Plate, uh, Juan de Fuca Plate boundary, uh, due to the subsequent larger earthquake over here to the west. We had that deeper 6.0 and some further deep activity during the day yesterday. Uh, kicking off here in the Indonesia area and of course the uh, Taiwan earthquake last night early this morning uh, could generally relieve the pressure out here along the west coast temporarily and halt trimmer of course but uh, that's remain uh, that'll be uh, we'll check that out a little bit later on when the update map uh, does come out uh, let's see what else we got here in the Canada section up north We've got some activity kicking up here the latest quake on the globe up here around the uh, what which bay Lancaster Sound area Seeing that earthquake here in the uh, purple circle, 2.3 earthquake at 18.0 kilometers. Uh, we did see some activity over the last couple days off the coast here of Vancouver Island. You can see some movement with that 4.7 and some other smaller earthquake activity kicking up here. But uh, even then, things appear to be calming down at the moment along the uh, Pacific Ocean here. And uh, things just kind of working their way up north here. 
uh, with some smaller microquakes in the, uh, like I said, Lancaster Sound area. <clears throat> uh, solar weather. I was watching a couple reports of some auroras kicking up in the Alaska region. Fairbanks, Alaska, seeing some activity there at the higher latitudes. That has since uh, calmed down. There's that uh, activity from late last night kicking up there to uh, looks like KP index of four, um, which I don't think that was called for. But uh, things definitely mellowing out a little bit now over the last few hours, and solar weather activity diminishing. Not a whole lot of sunspots on the on the uh, sun currently. Only a 45% chance of a sea flare and other threats diminishing uh, pretty rapidly. All right, folks, I uh, hope everyone has a good day out there. We got uh, some wind coming in to Northern California today, about, uh, I think about 45 mile per hour winds, maybe up to 50 or so here where I live. Um, so hoping the power holds up. If the stream does go down uh, for some reason, it's probably due to the power uh, being kicked off by the wind but I will get it back up as soon as I can and then we'll go from there but I uh, hope everyone enjoys their day stay safe out there and we will chat at you guys a little bit later on have a good night or uh, a good afternoon peace out folks <laughs>